All right, to wind the coils, what you're going to do is take um, a spool of 18 gauge, and you, you need four strands. So you're going to take that one roll, and you're going to have to empty it into equal divisions on other spools, and then rewind it on your big spool so you have four strands. Kind of a pain, but it sure makes this easier. Take about four inches, put a 90 degree bend in it, lay it in the uh, coil former and I always I always just do the same thing so I'm going on the inside part of the coil it'll be closest to the middle of the stator and starting I make a mark on the coil former it's a little black mark shows me my alignment all right so I've laid this in there like that Okay, take the coil former, and again, we have alignment marks. Put it on. Take the wing nut. Get it nice and tight. There we go. Now you're going to want to put a little tension on the wires as you wind. All right, always wind in the same direction. We're going to put a little tension on this so it's tight. It doesn't have to be super tight because we're going to still have to crush this coil down into the mold. I'm going to count the turns. The most you can get is 30 turns with this wire and that mold and that size. Okay, so when we're at 30, take the ends, come through here, pull down hard. You can snip them. And then take take a piece of strapping tape. I take um, a foot long piece. It's nice to have it ready. And come around and pull that nice and tight just to hold the form. Okay, that's ready to come out. And you can use the start wires to kind of pull it off the form. Alright, so that's our coil. Now you're gonna take the remainder of you're gonna take the remainder of that um, strapping tape, cut it into three. And I come around here while I'm holding the the coil. So we've got some more work to do with these coils, and we don't want them deforming um, while we do our work. Again, take the, uh, call these the start wires. Going to come over here. And you can clip these a little bit now. We're going to put them in the form before we completely trim them, but there you go. That's how the coil looks. You kind of want to make sure these four strands don't lay on top of each other. You want it to be a single layer because that's an extra thickness that we have to crush down into the half inch. And so when we're done, take some wire snips, snip them off even. Makes makes cleaning the wires easier. Okay, so that's what we got after the last pour so any of the, the old urethane get it off it comes off real easy and you want to run a nice bead of um, pure silicone 100% silicone all around these parts here so urethane doesn't flow between the, the two molds um, these screw heads will need to be waxed um, I use actually coconut oil or coconut like it's like a shortening and it it melts at almost room temperature and that's just so when you need to you can remove these screws and they don't fill with your thing and I I run just a little bit of this coconut oil all around and then I buff it with a towel okay the other thing you're going to want to do is take this template showing where the coils go and this is where the pass-through bolts are going to go. And put that in 
and you're going to adjust 13 degrees one way, 13 degrees the other way, and for this pour actually, I'm going to center the pass through hole right, right in the middle between two coils. So one set was here, one set was here, the pass through hole on this one is going to be here. That's so the three phases are in the right position. So I'm going to put that template in, then I'm going to take a Sharpie, and it doesn't it doesn't draw in the uh, HDPE real good, but you can get enough of a mark to know where the coils are going to go. Alright, you're going to want to get all these uh, coils in, shaped, fit, and verify that they're in the right position, and I'm looking through them, and I'm seeing those little black felt pen marks I made, so I know when it's time to cast this we we're good to go so it's they're all in the, the right spot I've trimmed all the wire ends next step is to uh, burn off the ends of the torch and then clean those and get them soldered all right on two of these coils I've left the uh, the ends long I twisted on that way I remember those are gonna be my exit wires and I've got the mold marked it's marked over there with exit so they all are going to exit in line. Okay, I'll show you that later. All right, you've got to uh, burn the tips off each of these wires and um, clean them with sandpaper. And then what I do is I twist them together and I can solder those tips together so it becomes one wire. All right, we got all the um, ends twisted, clipped, and soldered. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, place it in the mold, make sure it all fits. Put the fiberglass in and then pick, uh, we'll cast it. So draw them out, cut them out. Alright, so I've got all the coils in. Now what we're doing is, is running around and getting each of these um, end to start wires twisted and make sure it's soldered. And then finally tuck them down. And when you tuck them down, it's such stiff wire that you can start to get these coils lined up exactly right make sure it's all lined up these are our two end wires make sure it's all lined up and then we'll pour okay I got my mixing cup I got my clamps ready because this uh, particular urethane sets up in about two minutes two and a half minutes um, the coils are all correctly in place um, I've, I've got all my uh, distance spacers in I've verified that all the coils are set and um, I can press this mold. Fiberglass is in the bottom and I've used my coconut wax on everything and then buffed it. So for instance here, um, this is where the exiting wires are going to go. I've waxed this so additionally uh, those will pull out easier. And once you pour this, uh, you got to move fast. So you want to have everything kind of ready and, and uh, kind of preset so all the clamps are preset to the right size. I'm going to pour in five ounces of each of these. These mix equally. This is a smooth on onyx. Okay here we go. So what I do is I fill the middle of the coils first. That pushes the air out. Allow the air to escape. One of my uh, exiting wires is a little longer so I can get it started. Okay, the mold is on. This is just an initial clamp so I can get the bigger clamps on. There's paper under this because sometimes the urethane will come out one side and once it's on something it's really hard to get it off. So that looks pretty good. We'll let that sit up for a half hour.